the greatest travel trailer floor plan for 2024. Unreal. I've never seen anything like that. And I'm telling you now, I wish you guys could share this moment with me and I'm really glad I'm filming it and I didn't know about that first because it like makes me smile. Cause again, just like you said, like a nine year old in a fortress. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Welcome to a special edition of Matt's RV Reviews. That guys, there has been some exciting new changes in the RV industry. And today we are taking a look at the Forest River Salem's slash Wildwoods and a lot of their new changes. Because if you guys don't know, this unit behind me is the hottest unit for 2023. It's the, this one's the Wildwood Grand Villa, but it's also called the Salem Grand, or no, it's the Wildwood Grand Lodge, but it's also the Salem Grand Villa, the 42 VIEW. There's some awesome changes that we're going to see in this. And from your feedback, there's awesome new changes in their actual travel trailers ones. And I'd like to introduce you guys to somebody, one of the most passionate people I've ever seen in the RV industry. This is John Sears, product manager for Sears. Salem. John who? Sayre. Sayre. John Sayre, even better, product manager for Salem and Wildwood. John, welcome to the show. Matt, great to have you. John's energy was off of this charts and I stopped him. I haven't even seen these yet. I stopped him, I said, hey, we gotta cut, I gotta get the camera. Show us why you're so passionate and excited about this product. John, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Hey, you gotta turn it back up though. All you, right, all right, you were all 10 right, out of right, 10. Yeah, yeah, so John, what's going on with this product and what changes is it for 2024? Um, honestly, like the view, let me start off with that. I mean, what if we found out that we were focused on the wrong things in the RV industry? What are you talking about? Yeah, what I'm talking about is one thing you never hear people talk about is square feet of windows, right? Linear feet of countertop space, the experience of camping itself. What if we've gotten off track and we built boxes with USB ports and it, it eliminates the experience and doesn't focus on it? It's almost like you're making a jail cell on wheels. Possibly. Talk to me about camping when you were a yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah, so when I was nine years old, dad came home with a used Rockwood pop-up. And my experience of camping as a kid was putting all the tents down, catching a cool breeze, listening to the frogs and the crickets at night. That was an experience for me. And then now I see where we've gone to and I don't feel that experience in, in the designs and I wanna get that back. I wanna inspire people to go camping and have that experience. And honestly, that's what we're talking about with this new series. And honestly, the 42 view has been the first time we started talking about 224 square feet of windows, uh, 18 linear feet of countertop space, huge open areas that families can gather and get together. And, Think about it, when you go camping, all of your activity happens on the door side, that's where the kids are playing. Well, if you have a kitchen there and you can't see the kids playing, that yes. kind of takes away from the experience, right? All my, all my videos, everybody always talks about the windows. People want big windows, they want big living space. Can we see the inside and what yeah. new changes we have? Yeah, this is the new 2024 Grand Lodge 42 view. And one thing you're gonna notice when you get in here is we have completely upped our game. Um, and what I mean by that is hardwood cabinet doors, uh, residential oven centered in the opening. Turkey tested? Turkey tested. Yes, sir, Down turkey soft, approved. Soft closed drawers on this thing, farmhouse stink. We even did accent on this other side of actual real shiplap, um, bringing the design back. I mean, this thing still has all motorized roller shades in the living area, it has a pop-up 50 inch television. The doors were kind of a battle because your door would swing open and block the stairs. So we ended up figuring out a way to get the doors completely out of the way for walking through. And how'd you figure that out? Uh, th this is a certain door mech that we had to discover and we had to test and utilize. And honestly, no more taking the doors off for shows just to allow people to get through. There you go. Yep. That, and, and you know what? That's listening to your customer and listening to your dealer partners. I love that. Yeah. I right. mean, even down into the bathroom, I can take you in here, but upgraded the shower surround, obviously more residential. We're still washer and dryer. You can order it from us with an actual washer and dryer. Always prepped and not in the bedroom. Okay, but, yeah. yeah. But That's one of the dislikes we had in our videos on one of them was that the washer dryer was kind of being blocked by the bed. I much prefer it right here. Yeah, but monster bathroom. I mean, this is the first unit that I ever got to see a 102 wide body and a bathroom that took up the whole space and it's just insane. Yeah, and is there anything in that pantry? Just 
Tons of more Oh, sport. liquefied, our brand of black tank toilet treatment. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that was there, no, did you? <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys, you can get that in the link in the bio. Continue on, right. what other features do we have on this unit? So, honestly, the design of the unit, no door side slide. This is set up for a 40 inch, or a 40 foot deck on it. And then here's the other thing. Listening to women talk, and we believe they're the dominant buying force, but they want bigger beds and more space in the bedrooms. And we've sat and thought about this. How do we accomplish this crossing of lines? Um, we put in a ton of work on a new bed mech with, with a ton of engineers, but come on down here into the master bedroom. Okay, see what I mean. under the master bedroom is the spiral staircase loft area. Guys, and if you haven't seen my video on the 2023 one of these, check this out so you can see some of the differences. But the biggest difference is down here. What is that? This is the new VersaTilt bed. So in order for those lines to cross, we had to figure out something different. Now, the bed back of the bed pops up and the bed moves 14 and a half inches away. Um, and honestly, when the bed's in the down position, you can still access all your storage underneath. But you think about room and space to get ready in the morning. You think about wanting to watch a movie when you go to bed and yes. not having to lay back and get the pillows just right because you actually now have a seat. Yes. I mean, this is this is honestly, we believe this is a necessity yes. um, for the experience of camping. Um, and this gives you also a good glimpse of our new three-tier crown molding slide-out fascia. Wow. Definitely more residential in here. The windows are just everywhere. All unreal. Yep, and I mean, windows that open, catching cool breezes. This is your view, right? When you're laying in bed, this is the experience that I'm talking about. And that's why they are calling it the Salem Cruise Light View Salem or uh, Forest River Wildwood view. Correct, yeah, this is a series and it, it really has a common thread mixed into it and it has to do with windows, door side windows, no slides, um, great eating areas for the kids, you'll see. I'll yes, see. well, and guys, make sure you stick around because we're gonna take a look at that one, that one, and that one. And just so everybody knows, just because they're branded as Salem, you guys all know Salem and Wildwood are sister products. Our Ocala store sells Salem and our Tampa store sells Wildwood. To us, it doesn't matter which one you get, they're called sister products. So what's this next one? Um, I'll, I'd like to take you over to the 28 view. It's Dude, really... you're the boss. We're following you. So this was the first project really after what we learned from the 42 view and taking a lot of that common thread that we talked about. So when you incorporate that into something with a single slide, um, dry weights in that heavy duty half ton towable segment. Now the awning. So one of the industry firsts on the 42 view was a 26 foot awning. Nobody had ever had one made before. We did. Now on this one, you get a 23 foot awning, but your door side awning space, and then you can see the windows. Yes. Um, you can see the windows that we put in the bedroom, but come on in. I mean, this is, you're the first one to see this. By the way, guys, this is my first time seeing it. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. Hang on, something isn't adding up here. Let me see. What is different? Single slide. Something, something's different, but I can't tell what it is. Hang on, let me uh, show this to everybody before you reveal it. Love this sofa setup. Okay, tell, tell us what's different. Well, I mean, all right, so this floor plan has obviously never been done before. But seven foot island, we have no designated dinette. So you think about the family and being together, being able to play games, being able to eat together. You think about being able to have this view even wow. while you're in the kitchen. I mean, it's just insane. This has 105 square foot of windows when the average RV has 25 to 35. Like I said, we've been focused potentially on the yeah. wrong things. So sectional sofas for our customers, obviously you see it in housing. We're, we're trying to do wrap around it adds for additional sleeping as well. Um, and even down to where does this thing pantry wise? Wow. We do a massive pantry. We have no carpet in this unit. There's woven boat flooring on the floor, but this prep space, countertop space, windows, sectional sofa with stow and go storage underneath. Guys, and I'm telling you in here, I know you can see it hopefully on camera. It feels different in here. Like this feels like a travel trailer that I've never been in before. No, uh, I mean, 
So some of the details when you walk into this, you're greeted by this waterfall edge, this countertop overhang. One of the things that we're doing on the View series is going to be solid surface countertops, upgrading that experience uh, that you have in camping. I mean, down to the details of arch radius walls as far as- I design, noticed that, yep. yep. Design perspective, side aisle baths, so you have plenty of bathroom space, plenty of countertop space in here. Oh. The shower gets the job done with the radius at the top for extra shoulder room. And then when you come into the master bedroom on this one, just understand this is a normal travel trailer where you're oh, used to wow. walking yes. around the bed. Against the wall. Yeah, so as far as room to change the level of importance, being able to sit up in bed when your TV location's over here. And this, guys, is literally wow. how easy it is to operate the bed. So I'm not going to lie to you. When it comes to tilt-up beds, I don't like them yeah. because I see them on motorhomes, and I don't like them on motorhomes. Here, I am digging this. And even when that's down, you still have plenty of walk around space. Yeah, and that's the great part about this, Matt. If you want to pretend the bed does absolutely nothing, it you does. absolutely can. You can leave it down in the down position all the time. The other attention to detail in here is honestly just the windows. And both of these windows open at 50%. And you can see we fit the biggest window we possibly could lengthwise. These are blackout curtains with fortress guard on them as well. And then this is kind of the other hidden gem. What's that? Washer dryer press. Stackable yeah. washer and dryer. That's right. Not only that, something that I don't want to say it doesn't matter, but like it does like it's definitely not a deal breaker, but it makes me feel a little bit better. The windows are your emergency exits. They are. There's some windows that like I'm only gonna be able to get half out, if you know what I'm saying, where this <laughs> one I'm fitting through that window in case of an emergency. You could probably hurtle out of this yeah, one and be just right, fine. Right, yeah. right. So even getting that. a system that you can get underneath the bed, we do our Oh, so it tilts up and you can have storage. Correct, yep. That is very unique. Yeah. Here's the one thing though, what is your role for this company? Uh, I'm the product manager for Salem and Wildwood. Okay, you need to get pores and toilets. Burr, 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 burr. I appreciate that. Yes, yes. Two of you, you had it. Oh yes, 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 <laughs> always. If it's not pores, Give me porcelain or give me death. Were you at the uh, Hershey RV show I last was. year? I was. I had about 300 people walking around with that t-shirt on. <laughs> give it me. said, give me porcelain or give me death. Yeah. Well, show us what we got going on over right. here. So this was the first edition in the View series. And then we, we kind of discovered a new dimension. And I want to show you, we're going to start off with the 24 View. All right. Now, listing off the stats on this thing, 29 foot, 11 inches, under 30 feet, dry weights at 6,120 pounds. Uh, you get full pass-through storage. You get outside camp kitchen on this thing. Obviously, you can see our, our common thread uh, going through the wow. unit with door side windows. You get your spray port. All of these units also are going to have a 60K uh, instant hot water heater uh, from Suburban. And then... Whoa. You. Yep. Guys, I'm telling you. I'm telling you now. This is my first time seeing this. Interesting. See... I've been saying it for so long. You don't need dinettes. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Look at this. Very, very unique and different. I like that a lot. Okay, so what do we got going on in here? So Matt, obviously you've all had customers walk by at an RV show and having the arch radius wall with the yeah. it gets out of the way, the accent right there, just from a design perspective, a chase lounge sofa in your main living area, huge door side windows. And this one is just under a hundred square feet of windows on a unit that's under 30 foot and dry weights at 6,100. By the way, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you guys are liking these windows or if you're not liking these windows, I'm truly curious to hear what everybody has to say. But this is that experience when you walk in and you're just greeted with these massive windows, not only in the back, on the side, on the door side, just all the way around. This has 17 linear feet of countertop space. So to get all of this- Dude, even, that's what I love right there. All of that. Yep. So, wow. If you need the space, you can get the space. If you want the extra seating, I don't know why, I just always imagine myself feeding a bluebird out of this back window or of something. Course, or like a hummingbird or something. I'm pretty sure I got that from Disney. But either way, um, I mean, this kitchen is massive. The countertop space is massive. And then, really, you haven't seen the secret yet. Hang on a second. Oh! <laughs> just, yeah. No, 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 hang on. Okay. No. Okay. Dude, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. Guys what Forest River's doing, 
is actually really awesome. I'm gonna tell you guys, all the other creators, all my friends, they're all my friends, they all, everybody's coming out with a video today and it's very different and unique and it's a lot of manpower behind Forest River. Guys, what I just saw is freaking amazing. I actually didn't even know it was on this, but because of this, everybody's able to bring it to you all at one time and so we need, we need these videos to perform well to make sure manufacturers, not just Forest River, but all manufacturers are gonna wanna bring us to show you guys these amazing units. And I've never seen a unit like this. And I didn't know it until you said it and I looked outside. Okay, show us. All right, so I'm gonna need you to go back to being that nine-year-old kid right now. I'm and, ready. All right, and, and discovery, right? So we have a pretty deep cabinet on this side. We have the refrigerator. We have this three-tier crown molding. We have this pretty nice, sexy appeal up here. And then there's a secret. <laughs> Open the <laughs> What yeah. the heck is go guys? There's an actual bunk room behind this entertainment center. What, guys? I I swear to God, I did not know. And I saw the slide out there, and because and I only knew because he said something. <laughs> so I mean, when you when you start thinking about this and the bunk, now, grown adult. 24 inch shoulder, legs go all the way down, plenty of head space. And this is the introduction of the new Versa slide. So AC in here, we have a 12 volt power fan that blows the AC. You so hang on, is it collecting the air and then, okay, okay. Yeah, put your hand right here. Yep. Wow. Wow. Yeah, meat locker cold. Yeah, so we, I mean, this is breaking a lot of new ground in the sense that how do you, keep it cool and uh, slide out that's yeah. blocked off from your living room. So, I mean, you have a pantry inside of a pantry. Um, you have closed storage. And here's the thing with the Versa slide and really how we're branding it is this, uh, this is a prototype, but on the next one, this will be four inches lower and this will be a desk area as well. So what? you are going to have pantry, you are gonna have bunks and you are going to have a desk office area that has insanely cool USB ports, all, everything that you need and would be private. So who came up with this? Uh, gosh, all I can tell you is you guys might see the lightning, but in order for the lightning to strike, uh, it's a storm. The barometric pressure has to be right, the humidity has to be right, the wind flow. So our team is compiled of puzzle pieces and we have been honest about our weaknesses and where the other individual is strong. And when you get that working and compounding, um, our team is the one that came up with this. So. Well, I don't pay your team, but your team needs a raise because <laughs> yeah. that was very cool. Yeah, so now that you realize what we're in, this isn't right. a couple's coach. No. This is a bunk house with a separate bunk room. It, I believe this would be the first 24 foot bunk room. Bunk um, room, ever yes created yes. that has these kind of stats. I mean, this is impossible. Dude, and this is why he was showing me the view. I saw the 42 view and then we were walking over to that one. I told him cut. I said, dude, no, we. I just, let me just grab my camera. I'm not doing an RV review. We're doing an RV reveal. And I don't want to see them first because I had no idea. And that what that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, we appreciate you being here, man. Um, so bedroom, obviously this is a shorter unit, but even in this bedroom, you still can see how the VersaTilt works. Yep. Uh, direct viewing TV, this is still the huge windows. You see the common thread, the theme yep. um, that we're bringing to the table, but. Radius shower, womp womp. But again, on a small unit like this, it is what it is. Very nice looking medicine cabinet mirrored right there. Oh. And a uh, plastic toilet, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And a massive awning that almost covers the whole unit and an outside kitchen. Yes. Still, and guys, Dude. the thing with the 24 view is this sits lower to the ground. We actually have to cut out of the floor for the wheel wells, but you would never know it when you go in. No, this is absolutely, this is seriously one of the best travel trailers I've ever seen. Yeah. We're Does that one do something special? It might. I, I didn't save <laughs> it for last for nothing. All right. Yeah. So this is our 29 view. And similar to the other one, these stats up until this time have been impossible. Um, but I want to introduce you to the big brother of the 24 view. Okay. Okay. I think I think I know. I think I know, but let me do a quick tour. Very nice bathroom. Okay. Washer dryer prep available in the bedroom. Okay, so first, again, 
I've said it for years. There is no need for dinettes. And I've said that more in motorhomes. Guys, there's no dinette in here. Look at this huge five-seater sofa. You said it's 10 foot long? This is a 10 foot sectional sofa with direct viewing. Entertain. Get the heck out of here. Yeah. Again, with this amazing kitchen in the rear. Amazing windows. How, how, how many square foot of windows are in this? 105 square feet of windows, 18 linear mm. feet of countertop space. <laughs> and yeah, the yeah. secret, if you look out the window, you know that yeah. there's something special there. All right. But, I mean, I would like you to try to discover if you wanted to take the time. I don't know if we have that much time on the video. Oh, of course we do. How, how would you even get into it? What, are, what are, does this thing do? Really? Yeah, do you want me to okay. hold this? Yeah. Okay. So, it just... Uh. <laughs> so, it's not this. That's a nice pantry. Yep. Sh show the pantry. Show okay. the pantry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, okay, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. Okay. 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 <laughs> Guys, look at that. What the heck's going on back here? Okay, so first, there was a handle right here. What the heck? Hang on, okay. <laughs> what the heck is going on back here? Yeah. I, uh, yeah, this is a bunkhouse as well. Tell us what we got going on. Show okay. us this. All right, so when you walk into your secret bunk room when you're that nine-year-old child, here's what we got back here. I mean, you have two 30 by 74 bunks uh, with a seatbelt strap for the outside corner. We also gave you a stairway going up that has uh, stow-and-go storage totes in it for okay. closed storage. So that's what they do a lot in Europe, by the way. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, yep, and up here you can see this is that that 12 volt fan okay. to blow the cold air in here. You have a, a shelving system. That is a dresser system that goes back 24 inches and has two bins in it for a nice little dresser for the kids. And really cut some of the key ingredients to a Versa slide is what all does it do? So it's a bunk room, it's an office, it's storage for your kayaks that you can put in that window and literally put that bunk up top. It's what doesn't it do for you is the better question. But this is your home office. This is your comfortable bunk room. And this is your storage. And, and this is hidden. This is, I will call it now, the greatest travel trailer floor plan for 2024. Unreal. I've never seen anything like that. And I'm telling you now, I wish you guys could share this moment with me. And I'm really glad I'm filming it and I didn't know about that first. Because it like makes me smile, because again, just like you said, like a nine-year-old in a fortress. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Yeah, we, we got the opportunity to show a seven-year-old um, this prototype two and a half months ago. And all that seven-year-old does is goes to his parents and asks when he can come back and see it. Yeah. Like that excitement, that level, it, it, it brings you back to that moment. Right. And yeah, it's... So it, think about this. This is in my head. The person buying this unit Everybody's buying this unit. Young people, old people, tall people, short people, blah, blah, blah. But the one customer that I see buying this moment, the mo buying this unit the most is grandparents. I agree. And, they, and, and this is for them. And their grandkids are going to love going camping with them. But, Matt, how many grandparents, they go through this debate, my grandkids only come 10% of the time. 10% of the unit. Yeah, I don't, wanna, I don't want double over double bunks and a kitchen on the door side and and I don't want to deal with all this stuff when 90% of the time they're not even there. You don't want a 31K QBTS, bing, that floor plan. If your kids, that's 50% of the RV. If your grandkids only come 10% of the time, that's not what I want. But this is what I want if I'm a retired couple. This is what I want if I'm just a couple of people. And then to have that for if and when they come. And the fact that it's a little secret room. Your kid, you, you want to know what your kids and grandkids are going to be doing? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and they're going to go back to playing with Legos and coloring books. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the first camper 
I've ever seen that's going to make a kid put the tablet down. Yeah. Unreal. So we have a saying around here um, that I came up with, but in a day and age where screen time is something you have to limit to your children, yeah. I think has never been more important than it is today. God bless and, that. And honestly, I think as parents, we need to be deliberate about how we get our children out and get them experiencing this. Yes. But I can tell you from somebody who has three kids, the grandparents might want this, the, the other ones might want this, I want this. Yes. I thought that we had to sacrifice our seating, our countertop space, our door side windows, because I had children. When can we start designing RVs that we don't have to make those sacrifices because we have children? Yes, uh-oh. Up storms are brewing. Yeah. Up, there's everything flying. Yeah, we got a little gust of wind through here. There you go, welcome to Indiana, the windy <laughs> state. That's right. But. Hey, thank you so much for having us today. No. This has truly been one of my favorite videos that I've ever done, only because he didn't want to be on camera. He didn't want to be on video, but I'm telling you now, your passion, we just put lightning in a bottle, because we're saying a lot of lightning references this video. And thank you so much for being on the show. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for showing me this stuff without me seeing it first. Because my level of excitement, because I did not know any of this stuff coming into this video. And uh, thank you so yes, much. Man. I truthfully think this is going to be one of the best debuts of the all new Salem Cruise Light views and the Wildwood views. What do you want to say to America? Um, I want to say we're, we're compounding and we're listening and we're here. And honestly, we're not going to waste this time away from our families designing mediocre stuff. We've made a commitment and we've raised the bar and it's time that we heighten your experience and we start inspiring you to want to go camping and the children. Yes. If you guys are interested in buying any of these units, go to generalrv.com slash Cash. We'll link it down below. And if somebody has questions for your team at the factory, how do they get in contact with you guys? Um, they can contact our, our corporate office. They can contact the Salem Wildwood team at yep. any given time. Perfect. We're here. Thank you so much, and make sure you guys, are you gonna be at the Hershey Show? I will. Okay, make sure you guys stop by and say hi, and tell them that you saw them on Matt's RV reviews at the Hershey Show. Thank you again so much for showing us today, and we'll see you guys next time.